Hello, this is Brian again. Well, I'm going to do another clip, another shorter clip up here on Vicker Benchmark. I saw, yeah, I still haven't left yet. I just took my Summit selfie. Kind of need to do a little pan view since uh, I'm trying to make a habit of doing that on uh, my uh, Summit climbs now. Uh, kind of inspired by uh, this uh, one hiker hiker's channel, Mike on the Trail. He... Uh, does these uh, 360 views uh, whenever he hits a peak so this is inspired by him and the dedication to his channel so okay let's start off by pointing out the the peaks okay so we got horse thief peak right there which is 4316 feet just a couple feet higher than this then we got main divide road cutting under which right there is trabuco peak at 4604 obviously very heavily damaged during the the Holy Fire. Then we have a random peak here. Some people confuse that with uh, Trabuco Peak for some reason. Uh, that's like peaks like 4,550 feet or something like that, roughly. And then, then of course, Mighty Santiago, 5,687, the highest peak in the Santa Ana Mountains and the highest point in Orange County. Then we got the LA Basin. Still kind of in the haze and marine layer. And then there's the Los Pinos Trail climbing its way very steeply up. And then it's over towards the Orange County Coastal Plain. Then we're looking more towards the south and southeast. I can actually, I believe, I can see all the way to Otay Mountain in San Diego County. Way out there way off in the haze. You probably won't be able to see it on camera very well. But I believe I can see all the way to Otay Mountain in far southern San Diego County, near the border. Then I can see I can see Cuyamaca Peak, Middle Peak, North Peak in uh, central San Diego County. Then I can see the Agua Tibia Mountains, Palomar Mountain. Then I can see Looking more towards the east-ish, I can see Toro Peak, I can see Thomas Mountain, and of course, Takwish Peak and San Jacinto Mountain Mass. And uh, yeah, the, the people mostly call it Takits, but it's supposed to be pronounced Takwish. T-A-H-Q-U-I-T-Z. And of course, we've got the San Bernardino Mountains, the San Gregonia Wilderness, then the long the long ridge line where Running Springs and Arrow Bear are, and Lake Arrowhead, and of course the Noble San Gabriels. As we round it back towards uh, the north and northwest, and all right, let's go see how clear the way is down to. Munhall Saddle. So you'll hear Munhall and you'll hear Los Pinos. The actual official name might be Munhall Saddle. So I remember down there used to be a really lush uh, Coulter, pine, uh, Coulter pine stand. And I can see some of the trees have survived. I'm just wondering because uh, there were some incense cedars in there too, and a couple Monterey pines. So, uh, some Coulter pine seedlings growing over here. Oh, nice. This is very, very good. And this is where there were no pines before. It was all chaparral here. But, looks like we got some Coulter pine seedlings here. So this is very encouraging. Very, very encouraging. Maybe birds uh, drop the seeds here. Excuse me. Uh, this is very encouraging. So that's Munhall Saddle, or Los Pinos Saddle. Lots of pine seedlings here. This one's starting to get bigger. And we've got a lot of uh, penstemon up here too. I think this is uh, Pensman Spectabulous, I believe. So, there are a lot of pine seedlings over here. Very, very, very happy to see that. 
some of them look like they're kind of starting to run into difficulty because we've had a lot of drought since then but some of them are starting to pick up and starting to grow quite a bit so I'm gonna be careful where I step so I don't mull, mull over any of these uh, baby pines I'm very sure these are probably all coulter pines I believe Oh, this is really cool. I like this. So yeah, we're getting close closer to the saddle. Looks like it's gonna get a little overgrown coming up. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna get overgrown over here. Oh yeah, very not good because there's poodle dog bush all over the place over there. Oh, there's going to be one spot where it's going to be all poodle dog bush. I don't know if I'm going to be going through that. I might just uh, I might just have to climb back over the summit. I really do not want to go through that plant. Let's see how close I can get and see if I can determine if it's passable without brushing up against it. I'm not trying to brush up against it. But yeah, it looks like it's going to become an area where contact is almost inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's all poodle dog bush right there. So I'm going to have to basically go up the way I came as I am not going through that. So. See on my next clip, looks like I'm gonna do some backtracking.